Hi, it's Peter Reed Miller from On Sports Photography with Peter Reed Miller. I'm here today with my good friend Paul Lester. Paul's been shooting golf and golfers for over 40 years. He's just published a book, Beyond the Fairway. This has got every guy who you and your father and your mother, everybody knows, uh, all the famous golfers. Um, so Paul, thanks for being here today. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit about some of the highlights in your career? Oh, well, thank you, Peter. My highlight, first of all, is to be here with you. Uh, you are definitely one of the uh, legends in the game of uh, sports photography and everything else, just to lead off with that. Um, I have been fortunate enough to uh, be, be behind the scenes and on the scenes uh, in the golf world. That's kind of sort of where my specialty has been. Sure. And um, it's been very exciting. I Growing up, knowing the celebrities, starting off in the celebrity golf world, basically. My dad was a celebrity, uh, Buddy Lester, and uh, he told me one day, you know, bring the camera out, and I did, and uh, started shooting those uh, tournaments in the early 70s, and um, it, it led to there with another gentleman that was finishing his career, and he ended up giving me a lot of accounts that were around then. There were a lot of special events around then with yeah. with guys like Arnold sure. and, and and you know and Jack and Arnold and Palmer. Arnold the Palmer. Yeah. yeah, I could yeah. use the one name with Arnie. 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 Yeah, Arnie. Yeah. And uh, I, I got really lucky because they had a lot of those those of um, um, type jobs growing up in L.A. with all the country clubs that were sure, here in L.A. Sure. That's what counted. I mean, I don't think my job and what I did would have worked if I lived anywhere else. Des Moines, for example. In Des Moines, well, yeah. They probably have one tournament, right, they one did. charity event a year. Yeah, yeah. one yeah. exactly. Yeah. There are many of them yeah. with many celebrities in yeah. those days that all played. Sure. Many of them have passed on yeah. and have gone, you know. Below the some divots, of, as they say. As below say. the divots, as I was saying. Uh, and in that book, there's a lot of them as well. But anyway, the way it started was that way. And then I kind of built a business out of it with all these tournaments where they needed foursome photos. Right. So it ended up being more, more of that end of things with the celebrities, mm -hmm. with the baseball players, the football players, sure. you know, and sure. the golfers. So I thought, well, this would kind of work. And I, and I went from there at the same time compiling a lot of photos of these guys playing golf behind the scenes. Like I said, I was lucky enough to be the photographer at the evening events mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. So I worked for them on the corporate end. So at night I could get in there with their families and get in there when they were having a good time. And, and you held on to all your material. I did. I held on to it. A lot of it went to them in, mm -hmm. in that point. And then there were a lot of prints there were a lot of slides oh, yeah. and there were a lot of negatives slides, yeah. uh, 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 you know so going through that and trying to trying to look at them and, and all that now there were some at that time i wasn't really smart enough to realize that i probably should have made copies of the slides none of us were none of us were uh, right yeah. so when they said you're doing this give us the slides mm. that's the last time i saw them yeah, so yeah that's a, that's a that was kind of a that was kind of a um, a, a problem yeah. but I was able to find enough of them mm -hmm. to make it real but um, at this point now then when it went over to the digital world you know I would say I probably switched in 2000 yeah uh, no somewhere one, around there yeah. before that a lot of the guys that work with me were doing it beforehand mm -hmm. but I wasn't totally sold on it um, well the early digital cameras were were pretty I mean Compared yeah. to what we've got today, they were very difficult to work with. Small files, slow, oh. oh, you know, the whole thing, everything. So I can see, and that's the same thing at Sports Illustrated, we didn't really switch until there were viable cameras that we could shoot at events, you know, and, and use for sports. Because the first ones, uh, my hat is off to the guys at the papers and the wires who used those old DCS 520s yeah. and things like that. Man, I don't know. But yeah, so you were smart. You waited till this, till it. Yeah, that evolved a little bit. Oh my gosh, I'll never forget the Skins game using the very first one that someone loaned me. Oh, oh I mean, I think about half of the images came out decent, yeah. not even usable. But and, and then, of course, trying to go in and doctor them up like we can do now. Right, right. I was like, oh my gosh, I got a few of them, and I was completely lost. But I guess as we keep going, we learn and, and we it learn ended a lot up, more stuff. Yeah, yeah, and it worked out. But I don't think I would. Even though now, from what I heard, people are going back to film, 
In my particular case, I don't think I will. Well, film, I think it's more for artistic purposes. Okay. Um, I mean, the thing about film now is it's so hard and expensive to get it processed. Uh, oh. There's so few places that do it. So okay. it's a big logistical uh, pain in the ass, you know, yeah, uh, to yeah. get stuff done, to get s developed. There's no one. I have some film cameras, and I was uh, just shooting black and white, but it came down to there was nobody. I lived down here in the South Bay in Manhattan Beach. There yeah. was no one. So I'd have to drive up to Hollywood yeah. to get a roll of film developed, and they right. charged me a lot of money. Yeah. So it just became not, not viable, I think. But I, I think for the artistic stuff, it's really cool. I'd like to shoot some more film. I just haven't really had time. Right. But, but I don't think anybody's going uh, back to it for practical purposes. I, I always think about some of these things where I had to do, you know, like tournaments where I would do everything from the beginning to the end, like you said, the Monday outings, the charity mm -hmm. outings at somewhere. And I remember roll, coming down to where, oh my gosh, I've got to do the awards and I've got like two rolls two of rolls. film left. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, hold on a second. And I'd run down to, I think the 7-Elevens were built mm. in and I went yeah. and got a roll of C41 12 exposures to try and Just get through the day. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, 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 and now though, shoot, you know, it's so much easier, obviously. You could shoot, uh, the, the only thing is now you have to edit a lot more, obviously. Yeah, you do. I, I think the comparison people say, oh, isn't, hasn't digital yeah. made things easier for you? Well. You're not in the dark room uh, turning your knuckles orange, but you're in front of that computer just as long. Oh, or longer. it is, and, and especially the way you shoot and the top people in the world like you, myself, it's a little different. Like I said, I'm there to record it. Mm -hmm. I know when to pretty much push the button on a golf shot. Uh, you guys are down to that, you know, actual yeah. half a second to make sure you get that right shot. Yeah. So there are, uh, is a lot more uh, editing, I can mm -hmm. imagine. Totally. Yeah. Billy, tell me about some of the other changes you've seen in, in the business over the time that you, you've been in it. Well, I think that the, the biggest change that I've seen is that the photographers, and including myself, if, let's say, for instance, somebody wins a golf tournament at mm -hmm. some, some other city or somewhere, mm -hmm. there would always be what they call the win photo. Uh, so the guy on the 18th hole standing there holding the trophy, the trophy. with the Titleist on his shirt yeah. or Hilton Hotels or whatever it was, yeah. you could have just people there make a living just on selling mm -hmm. those photos to those companies. Mm -hmm. yep. Well now with Getty coming in, yep. they have bought the rights to all of that and you yeah. cannot sell any of those no. things. No. And that was, to me, that's a major thing. I didn't do a lot of that because the photos I take go to the event right, right. so you know in that yeah, case so you're it's not okay. in competition with with getty on that but but the paperwork on that it better not go anywhere else yeah because yeah. the tour knows exactly and and They're if they find out it can only use like they say you know to enhance the event or something right, like that right. for next year's program or something yeah. like that but um that i've seen i would say that was probably the number one which is so sad for the other people mm -hmm. that made a living doing that right um and and they just can't anymore um as far as the photography on it themselves we need somebody i would think hopefully is going to come along and give us a little bit of something speaking in the golf world mm -hmm. that is going to do something i know when you're you covering football like you do and things and a guy comes out and brings a sharpie out of his pocket mm -hmm. that's how it, that's what we're looking for in the golf world somebody to do something different and mm -hmm. there just isn't so to try and make a picture of just the golfer swinging is really is really not yeah. not getting it you know we we need somebody um skin and steel we used to call this for it's illustrated the tight shot the club yeah boom, skin yeah, and steel. We, yeah. We, right we want somebody you know like uh like the great uh my friend craig stadler who we love to death mm -hmm. you know when he got upset he'd just take that oh, iron and throw yeah. it into the yeah. Yeah. into the ground in the fairway and it would stick there yeah. i mean that's that's that was great yeah because you know no matter how crazy it was at least we had something to shoot and you know you don't see the personalities in the modern game not that, at you all. know that the, the uh, Stadlers the John Daly's oh, good or bad that's exactly Chi -Chi, right what I'm saying you know, good or Chi -Chi, bad yeah yeah uh, they have this uh, Patrick Reed now 
Uh, Patrick Reed is, you know, got, got called for cheating two weeks ago. You know, he's got personal problems. He said that, you know, he's going to win every tournament or whatever he said. That's really good stuff. And it's these good, guys yes. ate it up because yeah. now everybody's eyes are on them. And, uh, you know, that's all we're looking for. You know, the, the best photo you can make now is maybe somebody coming out of a bunker and getting a great shot with the ball yeah, in the sand. the sand. Yeah, but we've all seen that so many times. That we've thing. seen it so many times. Yeah, I mean, unless there's a unique feature of the course, I know, uh, I think it was, and I may get this wrong, so please forgive me, it might have been Michael O'Brien who did a shot uh, at Augusta uh, where he kind of got up behind uh, the, the whole you know the whole box and the trees yeah. and everything like that and the people and i think it was tiger and he did a really beautiful i think it was four by five that he shot it on but it oh. was a really beautiful shot and it was like you know oh okay that's something different but yes. you're right making a different golf shot is a real big challenge yeah it really is something that that it would be good and and what helps would be somebody that could give us the shot yeah yeah and, you know it's like someone this andrew mcgee who i knew that was a uh, a good player you know played for a lot of years not a huge name but he said the problem paul is that they're walk the same they swing the same and they dress the yeah, same yep, you got and it. they look the same you know yeah. it's like that's why john daly okay yeah i don't care get a guy with smoking cigarettes yeah, out there yeah, and, yeah. and i love that yeah but, uh, no. Or, yeah. or Tiger saying, you know, a dirty word once in a while. Okay, you know, yeah. at least, you know, ooh, God, did he really say that? And put your hat on backwards and, mm -hmm. you know, do something a little different. But that's in my particular area. No, I get it. I totally get it. Because I, I, I don't shoot golf currently, but I shot a lot of it in my years at Sports Illustrated. And, you know, even then we had some good personalities. We had Lee Trevino, you know, we had Chi Chi. We had people who were out there. They weren't always in the, in the top finishers, but they were out there and they would always make yeah. It would give you something on the course. Um, I don't see that anymore. What what little I watch on TV, I don't I don't see no. it. Um, you know, the the everything is very homogeneous. Everybody is like so yeah. focused on their game and winning and being precise that they don't have any time for emotion. So uh, that's that's tough. That's tough. Yeah, that's and tough. I was thinking also, you know, speaking on the golf thing that. I think they're such good friends that they don't want to show the other guy up when they make a great shot or they win on the 18th hole. Yeah, you know, yeah. the hat comes off, they shake hands, and they go. Yeah. You know, it's not a big deal to win a tournament. Unless it's Tiger. Ooh. Yeah, unless it's Tiger, <laughs> which is I was going to get at. And he loves it, and he would tell me, you know, he goes, hey, I might be friends with him, but I want to beat him by a million. Oh, yeah, he's you know, a competitor. That, he's and, a competitor. Yeah, and that's so uh, a little bit different on mm -hmm. that end. So on the business side, are you seeing things tightening up? Yes, on the business side, I see it um, extremely tightening up. I don't think that they care. I hate to say this, I don't think they care that much about the photos. On my end, on the charity end of things, first of all, I think the charities are down a little bit, yeah. frankly. Yeah. And so, you know, there's not as many of those. We used to do tons of the Monday mm -hmm. outings mm -hmm. that would just be, and they wanted, in fact, the way I see it, thank gosh, I don't want to say I'm at the end, but at <laughs> no, 70, yeah. at least I'm not in the middle You're of it. You're not starting if it, out. If yeah. it was like this now, when I started off, I might be doing something else. Yeah. yeah but yeah. To, to answer that question, and this is where it comes into what we're talking about in a lot of ways, is that let's say there's a Monday outing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they have their committee meeting and they're doing the things. Okay, we want to the foursome photos, just mm -hmm. say. You know, so you try and do that a little bit different anyway because those are kind of old, but yeah, they've seemed yeah, to work. Yeah. So if they're thinking, okay, we can get, you know, Paul and we can pay him whatever they're going to pay me, you know, to do it, mm -hmm. to come out of the charity or get a sponsor, or they can say to anybody and that guy in the back row goes, hey, I got a camera. Or I got an iPhone. Or I have an iPhone. Yeah. I can shoot them just as good. Now, they may not be able to have the perfect fill flash like we mm -hmm. have to mm -hmm. be able to make it look great, know how to do it the proper way and put them in the type of thing that we give to them, either an imprinted folder or a folio mm -hmm. or a frame, something nice. But you know what? They don't care. Well, yeah, I think that's the thing. The, the, you know, the old thing is every year there's, some, there's more pictures taken this year than there were yeah. ever before in history. Everybody sees pictures all the time. That's great for the visual media, but uh, it, I think it lowers people's standards a lot. I mean, yeah. the difference between yeah. you, even you know, even if you had a setup and you had a couple of lights and everything to do really nice for some pictures, 
And then the, the lady who says, well, he, Paul's not here, so I'll do it with my iPhone. Yeah. In the end, they're going to put it on the web. It's going to look kind of the same. And yeah. that, that's, that's tough. That, that's a tough loss of the appreciation of quality photography, which I think is a little bit endemic. So the challenge there is to, as you said, find something different. Find something that make your pictures different or make the, the golf pictures different. And as I said, it's tough. It's tough. Yeah. It, um, I think the thing that I've been able to do that makes it a little bit better is that I know the people. Yes, and yeah, I was going to say, key. you know the people, so yeah. that's what you get out of them that I wouldn't, for example. I mean, I know a few of them, but it's been a yeah. long time. I did, you know, I mean, I'm talking about, you know, Arnie and Ben Hogan and yeah. people like that, you right. know, that I worked with on a one-on-one -on -one yeah. for, you know, some other, like a commercial job. But no, I don't know any of these guys now. I mean, Tiger. Tiger and I have a, a kind of an interesting relationship, yeah. but, but we're not close, not, not at all. And you know, bless his heart, that's not that's not a problem for me. But but yeah, you have that friendship, you have that. People will do things for you that they yeah. will not do for anybody else. And that again, that's key, and that's key across all sports, all photography, in fact, yeah. Yeah. is to develop relationships. You know, you're not just taking a picture; you're engaging a person or a group of people, and you need to make that engagement. You need to give them something out of it. You need to make them smile. You need to yeah. say, oh, this guy, this is great. I've seen my friend Paul, you know, yeah. he's, he's charming. I think that's, that's really important. I, I agree totally. And I think that um, I've done one thing that's kind of built it up over the years. Back when we were doing a lot of prints, back when we were shooting film, I would go and, and if I shot a picture with somebody that um, if it was either a celebrity with another celebrity or somebody that I know he wants that photo. Give him the print. I yeah. gave him the print. Yeah. Now you can even That's just send the, them the file. Oh, send them the file. Yeah. I do it all the time. You have your email, boom, takes me one second. I push the button, here you go. And this is the key. And I've had people say to me, how much do you charge them for the five by seven? I go, I don't charge them no, anything. No, it's good What's it good cost will. us? Yeah, you yeah. Know, whatever I, it costs us, 50 cents or something, you know, to get a regular print yeah. at our labs. Uh, and, and if you charge them, 10 bucks, you know, go try it now the next time you see him. Hey, I need this photo yeah, really bad yeah, well, with you, you yeah. with this other guy. Hey, Professional sorry, athletes I don't go. expect to pay for anything. No. <laughs> that's the law. Yeah. They, they expect to get it all free, but that's fine. But it goes you know. a long way back. Yeah, like yeah, you, you yeah. can go up to, you know, Tom Brady and, and he'll do something mm -hmm. for you because you know him. I can go to Tiger and go, Tiger, I really need this photo with this mm -hmm. guy over here. Sure, let's do it. Yeah, because Tiger's always been for, uh, with Sports Illustrated, he's been difficult. Uh, we've yeah. done we've done stuff with him. We've done covers with him, but doing the setup stuff has always been a real challenge. He's like not that into it, and right. so you know. But if you ask him for something, you're more likely. Yeah, to get it's something it. but, quick yeah. like that. I, I remember, you know, people always talked about Arnold, mm -hmm. you know, Palmer, where it was like, oh, he's the nicest guy and the greatest guy in the world. Well, he was nice to everybody yeah, else, he and he was nice, nice to me. But when it came time. He'd walk out, okay, what do we got to do, Paul? I'd say, yeah. well, this is what we have to do, Arnold. See that group over there? They all work for GTE, let's yeah. say, back in those days. We have to make a picture with every one of those guys and you. They paid, this is what we're going to do. Okay, so the first thing he would do is say, I wonder if I could get a Kettle One. Yeah. And, that would, <laughs> and wow. that would make it great. And I would tell him, I, I would say, like, okay, if the right person comes along here, you know, I'll fump around with a camera a little bit, give yeah. you an extra second with yeah. whoever she might be. Yeah. But he was a great guy. But, but what I'm saying is when we work with them, it's mm -hmm. totally different. Yeah. Not yeah. the outside group. Hey, love you. You know, they want to know what they want to do, what they're doing, mm -hmm. and, yeah. and how long it's going to take Make it take short. Them. That's the other thing with yeah. all celebrity and all athlete photography. Right. Make it short. Yeah. I mean, you can't, you, nobody has the time anymore. Right. The, you know, do it I, as I, quick as we can, I but we for, have to do it. You know, 10, 15 minutes, and, uh, and they're out of there, and their yeah. attention spans are like that, and they've got other stuff to do. So, you know, so I, I think what we, what we see here is that, that uh, building relationships is really important. Oh. Uh, finding a different shot, it can be very challenging, but it's, again, important. Um, you know, and I, I think the thing is, there, there's, there's work out there. It's just slightly different and, and in different ways. But I think, I think it's been great. I think it's been great having you in here today, Paul. Oh, thank um, you so much. You I'm know, honored. I'm honored. Book. Thank and, you. Uh, I hope it. Uh, thank you for showing that. That's sure. that's the thing that's great. And thank you so much for having me. Like I said, it's really special, and to be able to hang with you after all the years, you know. And um, let's just keep it going. Yeah. Good. All good right. luck down thank the road. Thank you so much for everything, Peter. Thank you. All right. Okay, this has been Peter Reed Miller on sports photography. Uh, we are going to just 
finish up our, our interview with Paul Lester. Uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe. Subscribe to my, this channel. It really helps us. And uh, we've got some other videos coming out. So uh, until next time, good shooting. I want to thank my friends at GF Crew for making this video possible. If you want to make money shooting action sports, check out GF Crew. Go to gfcrew.com to join. It's free. They have a whole process and an app set up to help you make money shooting sports. Check it out. Get started today.